Had you, by any chance, watched Troll Hunter or The Ritual? That's what I thought. Isn't it a bit of Troll Hunter and The Ritual? Yeah. The Ritual is actually really good. I remember me and you were going to go see that. We never went to see yeah. it. And then I watched it the other day, but it's actually really good. And it's got Loki's fucking kid in it. That's the monster. But yeah, it, it, he reminded me of the guy from Troll Hunter, even though there was there was only like two trolls that I could see, and mm. the rest was, I guess, their magic. Um, but it makes sense now that those tripwires were there, because I guess... Considering that's the only way to actually get out of that wetland, it makes sense that there would be traps there to alert you with a loud rattling noise. Considering they, I guess they chill in the bog. Well, that was a <laughs> horrifying story. And now we've got to deal with this. Well, now we've got to deal with. Yeah, uh, I, kind of, I kind of regret asking you. <laughs> yeah. It was really I'm, hot. It was really hot that night, so I guess it was like a fever dream. Yeah, no, Do you have any cheese? What of this? No, any cheese? Eat any cheese the night before? This no, is like I didn't. five frames per second. I had a cup time. of tea and then I went to bed. The, rit- the ritual was a good film though. Cause it, yeah, it was great. Because it's just a bunch of like British blokes like, oh, we're off, off on a fucking weekend to remember our friend. There's no such fucking things as magic. And then they all just like horrible, gory <laughs> deaths by this troll. Except for one who gets it out because he was chosen by, yeah. the, by the Loki's kid, the weird deer monster. Loki. Did a bear do that? I don't know, I'm not a fucking bear. I love that guy. As this, there's this, just this fucking bear that's just strung up in a tree. And he's asking if the bear did it. Yeah, he's asking if like a bear could do that. And he goes, I don't know, I've got a fucking bear. Because that, that instead of going around the mountain, because it would take days. Instead of just calling mountain rescue or something. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what is another good horror, <laughs> took if you it. haven't watched it yet. Have you seen Hereditary? Yes, it's good, isn't it? That is very good. It's, it's subtle. It, do- it doesn't make sense until the end, though. Mm. It's weird, it doesn't make sense. It's subtle, but it's good. This is like the beginning of Darksiders. Is it? I don't Have you played Darksiders, Lewis? I've played bits of it. This is like the first boss where you're, where you're like throwing cars at him. This is Darksiders, this is no place for a horse. This is no place for a horse. This is no place for a horse. That's the second one. The first one's got War, who's a much cooler character than Death. Who's just this weird fucking guy who talks oh, to elf men. I'm kind of like... Stumped at what I'm looking at right now. Dark it's a hot day. Box. I think I just wasted it all. Oh no, I did. Oh wow, time. no, you literally just throw them. He hasn't. He doesn't block them. Let me shimmy shake. That's how I feel just, when I lift up my arms. <laughs> this is how it feels sitting here now. I'm just like a lava monster shimmying my sweat everywhere. <laughs> this, the poor viewers. Their first episode is going to be us talking about our sweat and troll. Yeah, nightmares. and s- nightmare fuel. Cool, because I'll bring it back on a, on a lighter note. This was something that me and Max said we were going to talk about like, when we all got together to record. We we were in, in the pub the other, the other day, as, as you know. Yes. Is this me? No, this is not before you became the Rat King. This is sort of... Yeah, okay. Sorry? Sorry, this is... Yeah, Sorry? This, this is before you became the, the Rat King. Cause that, yeah. was, that was terrible. Context? You'll, it'll, it'll all make sense. It'll all make sense. sense. Um, this was sort of... After the Hot Fuzz conversation before that. What are you chatting about? No one knows what you're talking about. Sorry, I'm just I'm just putting Max in on the time. So we were saying about like celebrities we'd like to meet. Right. And we both realised that we've just got this weird love for Tom Hanks. Yeah. Tom Hanks is a lad. Exactly. This is what I mean. Why you... to the North Pole of course. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> is the Polar Express. Let's not talk about the Polar Express. It's great. What the fuck Scary. Are you it's great. It's, it's uncanny valley. Yeah, it's still good though. I mean yeah. It's got a Nazi ghost in it, but still. Oh, for the North Pole, come on. We were saying about, like... How he's the greatest man ever. Yeah, like, right. all the celebrities you want to meet. So, Ross, who would say, you I don't know, a top, top six, maybe. Oh, Christ. You put me on the spot here. You can give um, us a few, you don't have to, like... I mean, yeah, just, don't have to Tom be. Hanks is definitely one of them, though. Maybe not number one. Yeah. Um... I don't know. Tom Kenny's one for me. Spinge Bill. Tom Kenny? The voice. Oh, Tom. Tom. Is his name Tom Kenny? Yeah. yeah. Is it Tom? He does. He does. Um, SpongeBob and Passion yeah. Pirate and Gary and yeah. shit tons of other voices. Definitely, definitely him. I feel like I'm just stealing yours now, but Tom Kenny would be. Well, we have some. He's such a good though. voice actor. Oh, well, he's great, and he's a really nice guy. Who? Who else? The, um, the voice of Otis the Cow. <laughs> so you can get him to My eye. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? My eyes are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'd have him scream. Let's right. two, two of mine are um, 
Guy Fieri and Adam from Manby Food. I'd just love to meet both of them. <laughs> you do it quick before Adam dies of a fucking heart attack, that poor man. <laughs> Jason Jason Griffith is the voice actor for for, what, for like the Sonic Colors Sonic. I'd like to see him. Really? He's like the best Sonic he, voice. I don't remember the Sonic Colors voice. <laughs> Baldy but nose hair? <laughs> Doesn't help at all. <laughs> Baldy nose hair? That's the best thing I've heard all day! That's what he said. <laughs> that's what Sonic does in every game. He mocks Eggman for his, his weight and his ugly appearance because yeah. that's f ugly people never win. And then I, I, said, I said as well, Harry Kane and Peter Crouch, I'd like to meet. Mm. Makes sense. Maybe just go like, get a funny photo with Peter Crouch because it would just be me and then just like half of him because he's just that big. David Mitchell and Robert Weber too. Yeah, I, yeah. Together, ideally. Do you know the very famous Peter Crouch quote? He's in an interview and they say to him, Peter, what would you have been if you weren't a footballer? And he, he looks dead at the interviewer and goes, Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I like James A. Caster. Yeah, J James A. Caster would be good to be. I just, I just like the way he just, this James A. Caster. Just, just, just the way he talks. Yeah. What can I say? Mm. It's like how all Northerners speak with like one tone. Mm. We're going to the shops. So we can get some bread. <laughs> kids, kids, we're going to slough. <laughs> I miss that. Advert, that if advert. it's more urgent, we take it up a notch. <laughs> I'd like to see um, James Corden and then slap him in the face. Yeah, good, good shout out that. I, was, I liked him when he was on Gavin and Stacey and then... Yeah, you know that's um, coming back at Christmas. Yeah, yeah but you know it's all yeah, going to be, gonna be, it's gonna be based around James Corden. Oh my God, it's him, the Iblis N-word. You can't say that. Why not? Because he's not the Iblis Trigger. I oh, know, is that Shadow? Is that Mephiles? Mephile Who's the Iblis Trigger then? Oh, it's I can't spoil it. We know, we already mentioned it. Because right. he's, he's Shadow's Shadow. No, it's because they ran out of fucking They time. ran out of time. So they thought, well, lip syncing's hard enough, so we just won't give this one. We'll just give, get Shadow's model, just grayscale it. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. I remember talking from that same conversation in the pub. Max said that I'd die really early in the first one because I'd be scared of the rats. <laughs> you didn't explain how I became the rat king, but I don't know if it's worth. Yeah, it. no, you've brought up the rat king now. So, so we we were you know having a, having a few frosty beds. And <laughs> by a few, you mean a few dozen on there? Yeah, and we suddenly had, we had too many. I checked my bank the next day and I yeah. saw the transactions. <laughs> but <laughs> I went up. Because we lost Max, I went up to the toilet to look for him, and I sort of pushed the stall door open just to sort of check he was all right. And he was basically sat on top of the toilet with the seat down, with his head in his hands, mumbling to himself. What was he saying? I don't know. I say he was just mumbling to himself. So I just thought, all right, mate, I'll shut the door and I left. And what you found me? I found you briefly, and you had no recollection that I was there. Yeah, I don't remember you ever finding me. Yeah. I thought I was just in that toilet. No, <laughs> me and one of your mates came in. It was that image is just steered into my memory. Really, of me just throwing up. You weren't even throwing up. You was I say you were sat on top of the toilet with your head in your hands, mumbling. Really, I yeah. don't remember sitting on top of. I remember. Going, I remember sitting under the toilet. I know. I remember going. I remember throwing up in the toilet. I don't remember ever sitting on top yeah. of it. Holy shit! I was fucked. It was mental. Um. Oh, oh, here he comes again. Who he is? <laughs> I did! I see it! And on that um, same night, I had one of the most degrading moments of my life, which is um, I had a nosebleed in a weather spoon. Oh, and, yeah. I, and I went up to the toilets, and there wasn't enough toilet roll left in my stall, so I had to knock on the wall and say to the bloke next to me, Excuse me, mate, I've got some more <laughs> tissue, and he had to pass it over to me. At least you weren't throwing up your guts, and then. Uh, this is what I remember. I remember then, because I was so hot in that tiny little stool, sweating like l like buckets, my arms and head and all that. So I looked like a right crackhead, running, basically running out of weather spoons. Like I bolted down the stairs, um, and I heard people briefly go, "Fucking hell, look at him!" Just hopping into my into my mum's car and just driving off. I remember. I remember when we went out for like after. It was my eighteenth. Was, was it? It was my eighteenth. Yeah, that was the time. Oh, it was. was yeah. yeah. And I and you lot had left. You were going off somewhere else, and I was getting picked up. And I needed to the toilet like so bad, so I, I tried getting back in. And I was I wasn't I was tipsy. I wasn't drunk, 
And I was like, I need to go in, I need to go to the toilet. He goes, you better just be going to the toilet, to the bouncer was saying. And I went in and I, I fell asleep on the toilet. You were quite drunk then. I was quite drunk. Because, because I remember... But I wasn't drunk as in I couldn't remember it. I remembered everything. You were... What's it called? Because I remember you were kind of sensible the entire night. And then at the end of the night... It's because everyone was leaving and I had all of these drinks. Cause... You ordered a fucking large picture, basically. No, I didn't. It was, someone, no, no, no. It, was someone, it was someone else's. Yeah. Well, they went, go on, Ross. It was it Lewis. Just... <laughs> <laughs> we'll that out. It was, it was a person it was, that we know. It, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was someone's. It was. They bought it, but then they'd spilt mine or something. So they, because uh, I was only having cider, so and they you, gave me that. Then you downed it. Yeah, because you lot were leaving, and I didn't want to be sitting in with spoons on my ones. <laughs> so you just devoured this entire. <laughs> that's what did it to you. And I stepped outside. You lot walked off, and I was like, and Oh, was a, I need the toilet. It was, a, it, was a, it was a large fucking picture as well. What are you doing there? <laughs> They're the English. <laughs> Never, never seen. Yeah, I remember that. Wearing a little. You two, were, you two were fucking about with that glass, and I just kept getting really angry with you. <laughs> we kept putting the glass inside a glass. Look at these two. These having a domestic, aren't they? No? Yeah, we, we were putting a glass inside a glass, and then just rattling it. And Lewis kept grabbing our hands and going, "Stop!" <laughs> like, <laughs> just infuriatingly. What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> look at this. Just look at this scene of Danny DeVito just standing in the middle of a forest. Is this the sitting in the forest surrounded by Mormons? It is. It is. If you see a mark above the head of someone in town, talk to them, they might be able to learn something important. So about glasses bags, have you seen my uh, my glass there? Oh my god, no have one we, knows Have about, we spoken about no the Carlin knows, Killer? No, nobody knows about the Carlin <laughs> Killer. So basically in school, um, I was in, with the same person you uh, name dropped, <laughs> um, we were discussing like, for a media project, we had to think of a horror uh, like a horror, like a horror movie, like scenario for our media project production, Sorry. and you could even make, yeah, I, I see his, his hair, like, <laughs> just disappear. He's got like Trump hair, um, and um, what's it called? Yeah, you could either do like a movie trailer, like video it, or you could think of like six different cover arts. And my idea that I never went through with was the Carlin Killer, um, and it was it was a man in a wood near us. Um, well, that's getting cut. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> In a, in a wood near us, a, a known wood, um, what's it called? You go, if, if you go into the middle of the woods at night or some shit, like at midnight, I think, um, with a can of Carling, and you go to the centre of the woods, it has to be the centre of the woods, and you plop it down, um, the Carling killer will come out um, in a mask made of just like cracked old, car, like bent old Carling cans to form a mask, and he'll pick it up and he'll crack it open and he'll go, cheers mate. And you've got to go, no worries, and run away. <laughs> and then and then he proceeds to kill you. No, he proceeds, you, you've got to run away so he doesn't kill you. And if you get out of the woods, he leaves you alone. But he's, like, really fast, even though he's, like, an alky. And he's got, like, a big axe, I think, or something. Yeah. And that's the rule. You got to, He goes, cheers, mate. And you've got to go, no worries, before, <laughs> as, you, as you run away. What if you don't? Then he kills you. So if you. And if you bring another bit, e.g. a Foster's or a Red Stripe, then he'll just kill you. Yeah, if you bring Red Stripe, you just get fucking killed straight away. An axe just comes out of nowhere and takes your head off. It has to be a can of carling. And he said here. So either way, you die. No, so am I getting this wrong? No, so if you, you give it to him, he say cheers. Why do you run away? You, you give it to him. Um, he'll drink it. It'll, well, he'll start to drink it. He'll go cheers, mate. You gotta go. No worries. And then you can run away. He'll drink it. He'll be downing it because because he's the carling killer. You've got a few minutes while he downs it. To run it away. No, not even that. He's a fucking alky. He'll he'll down it in seconds. And then he's gonna start running after you. And you've got to get out of the woods before he gets to you. Hmm. And, right. <laughs> and then all you get out of it's bragging rights that you survived the Carlin Killer. I mean, it's not that hard. Well, no, it well, you'd think that, but the Carlin Killer's like a, a very powerful entity, and he's fast and strong, and he will like lob his axe at you, and he's quite accurate. Hmm. He's like the Huntress out of Dead by Daylight. He's scary, and he'll kill you. <laughs> he'll kill you. He'll get you. <laughs> anyway, that's Carlin the, Killer. That's the Carlin Killer. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm at the training grounds now. You spoke to... I spoke to a policeman. Patrick Warburton. <laughs> hey, the training ground... The training will begin! That's not what he sounds like. I can't do my Patrick War, War, War Times voice anymore. <laughs> just just say pizza. Bader. Hey. Hey. Bader. I'm gonna get this. Bader. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Bader. I must... God, oh. this is... I hope this is actually what I have to do. By the way, this is what the police in Soliana have to do to um, 
<laughs> to, it, to, to get enrolled. Yeah, you just got to get through all the rings at the time. Look how disgusting that font looks for the time. That is pixelated. Awful. And it's like Windows 95, isn't it? Dun, 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 dun. This is like a Banjo Kazooie level. Oh, what? It really feels like you've got a hell of a lot slower now you're not the uh, max speed of Sonic. Now I'm not the blue blur. Oh, you've got to get the. Yeah. <laughs> great! Oh, land on that spring. Great. great! I didn't even realise that was a spring. Good shout. Good call. Fuck's sake! You've got to go back to the spring once. I won't be able to. It's too oh, high I'm up. so fucked. You just quit mission, yeah. Is, yeah. This is going to be so this is optional. Well, I don't know where else I'm supposed to be going. It's probably like the trials of fucking <laughs> courage. The trials of love. <laughs> Apparently, that's, I looked that up. There's a wiki about it that, that has nothing to do with anything. Doesn't matter who you choose. Yeah, no, I, I figured. It's not a uh, telltale. Well, yeah, you know. you, you'd assume they'd have this much depth. <laughs> oh, he looks important. He's got a red one. No. Oh, yeah. Anyone suspicious? Not in this cave. I've been there the whole time. This is where I spend my existence. Hmm, I don't know about that, Stan Lee. I think you might be telling us some lies. As Stan you clip Lee. your hands through my head. <laughs> Where did he say down the here? Cave. No, he said the cave's fine. Yeah, yeah I don't trust Let me him. Have a look. <laughs> well, not at all, boy. It's up that hill. It's the, the, basically the course you went into. The in. only other place someone could hide around here would be the jungle. Oh, so you've got so to go down the jungle, 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 jungle. The jingle, jangle. Can't wait, Jingle Jangle's coming up, so... Oh, it is. <laughs> is that I like believe a, I can fly! Is that like a legit strategy to get more, like... Probably not. ...use out of here? Yeah. 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 Ye